us what your life has been like since you did this. Well, once once the story was out and my name was leaked to the public, it uh, it's been a matter of at first running and hiding. Uh, and now it's trying to just rebuild my life and and do it in a manner that's not restricted by public opinion of me being involved in a Russian disinformation campaign. Yeah, and but why did you have to close down your shop? This was your business. Well, initially the media did a good job of blocking the story, so customers were still coming in, but they didn't understand the police presence or why there was uh, feces and rotten vegetables thrown at the shop. So eventually it got out and people stopped coming in. Uh, for service, people started coming in uh, without computers, and uh, I can only imagine that they were there to do me harm. So, uh, mm -hmm. by the end of November, or by by the end of October, I had made the decision, and by November second, I closed the shop. You know, there's now Miranda Devine's book, The Laptop from Hell. What specifically alarmed you that there might be? something illegal on that laptop specifically I don't know that you've ever answered that question well I saw a lot of things that were embarrassing that somebody would definitely not want to make to the tabloids uh, I saw a lot of financial records that uh, showed a lot of uh, foreign money and a lot of money like a lot of money and then there was uh, some other documents that I thought were kind of strange uh, Blue Star Strategies uh, sending White House briefings about Ukraine and the vice president's travel schedule to a private Ukrainian citizen. And the national security ramifications alone uh, were disturbing. And I felt that this was definitely something that had to be taken to the FBI. And you also saw illegal activity, the, for example, the picture of uh, Hunter Biden with the crack pipe. Uh, that's illegal activity. Uh, pictures of a sexual nature. Um, were you concerned about the age of the people in the pictures? No, I, di I didn't really focus my attention on what was salacious on the laptop. My bigger concern was the security of the nation, the, the criminality that had potentially taken place, and that could uh, happen again if not investigated properly. You know, Jason, it